Chillicothe Mayor Luke Feeney, at uh, tonight's council session, you made a few announcements, uh, and specifically I wanted you to repeat what you said about the transit and yeah. let's see, yard waste, and also uh, um, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Sure. So uh, transit, the transit system has a new app that will be going live this coming Friday. It's essentially the app that is going to be used by uh, the new dispatch company and, and uh, software. And so uh, booking rides on our on-demand system is going to become a lot easier. Um, training is happening this week. The new system will roll out next week. Um, it's called Ride Pingo, P-I-N-G-O, P as in Paul. Um, I did not name it, uh, but I'm told it'll be on the App Store uh, this coming Friday and should be able to be used um, starting next week. And just as a reminder for everybody, this is for our on-demand service. So right now, Chillicothe Transit is running a fixed route service along with an on-demand service. So you can use this app or you can call into transit and book a ride. Uh, we prefer calls in advance, uh, but we will take you uh, in the city limits. And in some instances, like the hospital, outside of the city limits uh, for transportation. And so that remains a free service along with the trolley and along with uh, fixed routes. You pointed out that transit is has been moving away from fixed routes to this kind of on uh, no, not, not, not moving away. Uh, when, we re, when we redesigned transit uh, several years ago now, we uh, decided that fixed routes in addition to on-demand uh, is is, was the most uh, efficient way uh, to provide service. So uh, we still have our traditional fixed routes. Uh, when we redesigned transit, we made them a little bit more efficient. Um, but think of... Think of, think of them as complementary operations. Okay. You said that um, the yard waste has been closed and cleaned up, but yeah. reopened now? So the, the, the Rennick yard waste site um, uh, gets a lot of waste dumped uh, over the years, and uh, we cleared out about half of it, a contractor did, uh, in December, and that site is now reopened. So it was closed for several weeks for that work, and it's back open. As a reminder, it's open on Wednesday mornings until noon and on Saturdays until noon. And that is back over in front of the sewer treatment plant? Correct, where Rennick Avenue dead ends. And that's at the uh, far eastern end of Main Street? Correct. Past, is that McDonald's on the corner? Correct. Um, and that's for only city residents? Correct. So no contractors or county residents? Correct. Otherwise you got a bigger mess to clean up? Correct. All right. Um, you did mention the city is ready for snowing, uh, snow and salt. Yeah, so we had our first snow of the year this past Saturday. I just want to remind everybody, you know, our, our method uh, is to hit the hills first, we try to get salt down uh, before uh, the snow starts. Uh, salt doesn't do very well after snow gets to start to pile up. Um, do hills first, then major thoroughfares, and then side streets. The goal is to make the roads passable. Um, you're not expected, or we're not expecting our folks to have uh, perfectly clear streets, um, but passable and as safe as possible. Um, so hills first, then main thoroughfares, and then side streets. You also mentioned that uh, Chillicothe Fix It continues. The uh, yeah, we have a Chillicothe Fix It app. Uh, similar to the new transit app is available on both Android and Apple app stores. Um, I think during the meeting I checked, I think to date we had 177 issues resolved. Um, basically, you take a picture um, of your issue, uh, upload it, and it'll get filtered to the right department, and we will do our best to resolve it uh, or uh, follow up with the correct agency, um, company, or whoever it might be to fix the problem. It's something we can work on. So that's uh, 170 since it started? Correct, huh? yep. When was that, last summer? I think that's right. Okay. And last but not least, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day and Jubilee? Yeah. So uh, every year the city uh, celebrates along with the Ross County chapter of the NAACP, uh, not only Martin Luther King Jr. Day, um, but also uh, the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation and uh, Jubilee Day. I think Jubilee Day, uh, this year we're celebrating this coming Sunday at um, Quinn Chapel AME Church on Main Street. Uh, that's at four o'clock, uh, the celebration. Uh, welcome to the public. 
um, and of course the city. So um, city officials will be celebrating uh, that day along with the Ross County chapter of the NAACP and we thank Queen Chapel for hosting. And Jubilee Day is related to Juneteenth when that <laughs> the Emancipation Proclamation finally reached uh, slaves way back in Texas. Texas, correct, yep. Several months later. Yep. <laughs> All right. And Mayor Luke Feeney, how can people uh, get contact with you or learn more about the mayor's office? And sure. So th the easiest way to contact us is uh, you can just hit the email address uh, on the website, chillicotheoh.gov, or email me at luke.feeney at chillicotheoh.gov. Um, we're on Facebook, social media, that sort of thing. Uh, or just the good old-fashioned call to the office. Um, we will uh, resume office hours uh, likely in February this year, uh, and so that will be my um, monthly meeting uh, in neighborhoods uh, where I can try to be accessible so people, I go to people instead of making people come to me. All right. Mayor Luke Feeney, Chillicothe Mayor, thank you very much. Thank you.